All right, we're gonna go back into our memory pocket this week to do a little bit more writing. So on Monday, you listened to a book from Todd Carr called The Earth Book, and I know it wasn't a story, but it still got me thinking of some of the memories that I have in my memory pocket and my writing challenge that I have for you today. So your writing challenge after this video is can you tell me about a time when you did something to care for the planet. It could be a really big action, like maybe you did something with your community or your family that was a really big action, or maybe you remember a small thing that you did. Every little bit counts when it comes to caring for our planet and making the earth a better place to be. So I'm gonna read you my story, just like I did the last time. Then you can help me check to make sure that I have all the important details, and then it will be your turn to Write your story. If you want to plan it first, you can plan it first, and then you can share your story with me, and I will give you some feedback about, did you include all the important details in your writing? So this is my memory pocket, a time I helped care for the earth. I'm gonna move a little bit out of the way so that you can see all of the words, and then I'll come back and you can help me make sure I have all the details. This is a true story from my memory pocket, of course. Last year, my class and I decided that we wanted to bring more nature to our community. So that's the community at the school, our Southfields Village community. We planted trees in the schoolyard and made bird feeders to hang on the trees near the park. This is not in my story, but it's a really cool activity if you ever want to try it. We collected some pine cones. We made sure that they were pretty big and then we covered them in something called Crisco, which is just fat. It looks kind of slimy and gross when you touch it, but it helps um, things stick to the pine cone. And then we rolled our pine cones in some seeds and bird seed, and then we were able to attach a string and hang them on the tree, and the birds can eat the seeds on the pine cone and the pine cone itself. So it's really healthy and it doesn't cause any waste when you're done with it. We felt so proud to have helped the birds and added more trees to the earth. So that's the end of my memory pocket story. If you know somebody who was in my class last year, they might be able to tell you that from their memory pocket too. So let's make sure that I have all of the important details. Did I tell you who is in my story? Yes, I did, you're right. My class and I. Did I tell you where my story was taking place? Yep, our community. So that includes the schoolyard and the trees near the park as well. Did I tell you when this happened? I did, I said last year. I could have given you more detail for that. I could have said last spring or last May or I don't remember the exact date. Um, sometime in the last months of school, but last year counts too. It just helps you know in your head, okay, this wasn't a long time ago. Mademoiselle Carr wasn't a young child. She was an adult with her class, so it was just last year. And then did I tell you what we did? I did, I included some details for that. So we decided that we wanted to bring more nature. Then we planted trees we made bird feeders. And then part of my what, but also even a separate detail, how we felt at the end, we felt so proud that we did all of that. And I loved in a lot of your memory stories that you sent me last time, a lot of you were telling me how it felt when you were included. So if you would like, you can include a detail at the end of your story that tells me how you felt when you were caring for the earth. Did you feel proud like me? Or did you feel a different feeling? Maybe you felt excited or inspired. That means that you were thinking that you wanna do more and more. I mean, you could be feeling all sorts of different feelings. So make sure in your story, you're including just like I did, who is in your story. Maybe it's just you that helped care for the planet or maybe you worked with somebody else. When was it? Again, it doesn't have to be exactly. It could be last year or when you were little or maybe not too long ago, maybe when you were at home, you and your family were doing a project in your garden or something like that that was helping to care for the planet. And you can tell me 
where you did it, and then the most important piece is telling me what you did to help care for the planet. And again, it doesn't have to be a huge action, even small things like the things that um, I'll show you in a video with Tigger and I, doing small little actions can make a really big difference if, any, if everybody does them all together. So I'm very excited to hear your story. I hope you like hearing something else from my memory pocket and have an awesome day.